right. Uh, like I said earlier, we explained or we have given an example. We find the resultant. What remains is to find the direction. So finding the direction is simple. But when I go on about, first of all, that of our new back again, Enani, he is very happy. At the moment, when the Akabaka, when they need to go, when they need to go, I am going to discuss two. Since F2, the vector 2 is greater than the vector 1, therefore, the direction link up is equal to the greater vector, which is toward the F2. Now, since it is toward the F2, you are going to draw a line from here down to this. Then you make this angle alpha, make the other one to be beta. Normally, the directions of a vector normally take effect uh, clockwise, clockwise direction. Starting from this uh, line of cardinal points that is east, we take our directions toward here until the line touch the line of the resultant. Therefore, this angle will be our main directions or the directions or the angle of the directions of the resultant. Now, we don't know this angle, we must find this angle. How are we going to find it? By taking the tangent of this angle, which we have tangent alpha, equals to f2 over f1 being opposite of the other side. When you are considering this angle, the opposite is here, the other side is here. Now, what we have is f2 over f1, and the f2 is 4 newton, and the f3 is just the f1 is 3 newton. So, when you divide, you're going to have 10 alpha to be 1.3333. Now, automatically, we have alpha to be tan inverse, or 1.3333 up to 4 decimal places. Uh, it's called according decimal, but we terminate it to be just 4 decimal places. Uh, so, after calculating this, we get alpha to be. Uh, 53 degree. We don't have to tell you why it is 53 degree. Once you punch this tan alpha or tan inverse uh, 1.3333, it's going to be 53 degree approximately. Now, uh, we have this angle to be an alpha, so we are looking for this beta. You know, the relationship between alpha and beta, alpha and beta is just 90 degree. The line from here to here is 90 degree, so automatically we have here as 53 degree to get the beta. We subtract that 53 degree from 90 degree. What we have is 37 degree as the value of our beta. Since beta is our, uh, since beta is 37 degree, which is the angle of the direction, so we have our directions to be alpha, comma, then the angle which is 37 degree south. So meaning our resultant lie on the angle 37 degree between east and south. That's what we said. And the vector's resolution and direction, or the vector's resultant and direction, will be stated as here: five newton is the magnitude. Five newton is the magnitude of the resultant. The directions of the resultant is east, comma, at seven degrees south. So it is very simple and straightforward. This is how case uh, four or case three treated. Uh, it's simple. There are so many relevant works, relevant example and exercise. Uh, if you really like to improve your knowledge, ideas on. Uh, vector resolutions on that case 3, you can further on and investigate and investigate. There are so many works. Read upon those examples to get more ideas on. But this is how it's going to be done. You find the resultant using Pythagoras theorem, then you find the direction using trigonometric ratios. And the trigonometric ratios you use uh, will be tangent of the angle, not the sine or cosine of the angle. Simple. Bawala. The so key. The haka akigano resultant. Haka akigano direction, the resultant. Idea that I can recommend the first example, she ni akibi agano resultant vector, the magnitude of the resultant, which I use it in agano uh, 5 newton before coupling of other directions. So after now we find the direction using trigonometric ratio. When you are finding the she, when you punch in this calculator, is tan inverse 1.333 multiplied 53 degree. Ah, the magnitude, same magnitude only. The alpha and the beta. It's not the relationship. Kasanchiwa, this here to here is 90 degree. So the alpha and beta will have relationship as this. Since you have the alpha as 53 degree, in the back again, or in the back again, beta, then you subtract that alpha from 90 degree. Abundere she ne value the beta. So that 7 degree is what remains, that is the value of the beta. Now the directions of that resultant, Mahana, Banga and David here, she is at 7 degree south. Mahana, resultant in as a here, south east. We follow it northeast, we follow it northwest. 
or southwest, but it follows where southeast. That is east degree and east comma and seven degree south. So the resultant in both magnitude and direction is stated as five newton as the magnitude comma then east comma at seven degree south as the uh, 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 directions of the resultant. So it is simple like ABC. So please get back to your documentaries and get more ideas on uh, case number three. So you can follow me for the case number four, which will be the final case. From there, I will move to the other way. So I'm going to...